Circles in Minecraft. Possible or not? I'm gonna push vanilla Minecraft to its limit to test if it's possible to make a real circle in Minecraft. So my friend Quipla made a video where he made an actual circle in Minecraft, and all he did was he took a couple blocks and stacked up, then you put a rail on top of it, and you surround this rail with a bunch of blocks that are not a full size. So you can see the chests have like a one pixel gap here. I'm gonna surround the rail in that. And then we're gonna get some minecarts and you just spam minecarts onto the rail. And once you've placed a ton of rails, you're gonna break the rail right here, or a ton of minecarts, you're gonna break the rail right there. You're just gonna touch it real quick for a second, move around just to try and shape it, and they should sort themselves out into a circle. But that's not good enough for me. I wanna find a way to build with these, such as breaking this, maybe putting some sand around the sides so that it fills in, and then, oh, the circle's gone. One thing that a lot of people forget about is that whenever sand or a block like that falls, it makes an entity of the block. And you can actually summon that. So if we summon a falling block at my location, you can see it disappears immediately. So let's give it a longer lifespan. There you go. You see, you can summon blocks like this. But the issue is whenever we type them, you see it falls and then it turns back into a normal block. However, what we can do is also give it no gravity. And now we just have a permanent floating block, just like this. Which gives me an idea. Let's try to summon a minecart, but give it a passenger of a falling block. So passengers like this, and then inside of here, the passenger will have an ID of falling block, and it disappears immediately. Passenger will also have a time of one and no gravity. All right. Now we have a block inside of a minecart. So now let's try and build that same thing from earlier. We're gonna place a rail and then get some chests on the side. And then we're just gonna spam summon a bunch of minecarts like this. All right, that should be plenty. So now if I break this, let's try and step inside and see if it can turn. It doesn't look like those blocks can turn though. Yeah, since the falling blocks are passengers and not actually in the minecart, then I don't think they'll be able to turn. So I have another idea. We can summon an armor stand on our location, but we can put a block on its head. So if we go armor items and then make a list of nothing on the feet, nothing on the legs, nothing on the chest. And then on the head, we want sand with a count of one that should make an armor stand with sand on its head. And of course we could just summon a bunch of these and like make a circle on our own over time by just running in a circle, but that sucks. To get a perfect circle, we're gonna have to do something really clever. And what that's gonna be is we're gonna have an armor stand in the middle of where the circle is gonna be, like where I am. And it's going to spin in a circle and spawn new armor stands all the way at the edge of the circle. And I got this idea from Notch1792. So let's get ourselves a new repeating command block that's always active. We're going to run the command as any armor stand. So let's filter as an armor stand within a distance of two blocks at the location of the armor stand. And this is going to run the command to summon a new armor stand let's go three blocks in front of where it's looking and then on top of that we're going to have a chain command block that will do the same filter and this time we're going to slowly spin the armor stand by about this much so now if i just place one on top it should slowly start making a circle around the command block you can see this guy spinning spawning them in front and then once it's done, we just gotta break this guy. There's actually a lot we can do with this since there's no collision or anything, but these guys are in my way. So this time let's actually get the parameters from earlier and add them on to the armor stand we're summoning right here at the end. So now if I get an armor stand and place it on top, it should make a circle of sand and stop. All right, although you may notice these aren't actually turned, so I'm gonna have to turn the armor stand. So now once it makes the circle, if you stand in the center and press this button, they will all now face the center and get rid of this little outline here. And so I cleaned it up a little bit and made it a little more automated. So you stand on top, you flick the lever until it makes a circle. You don't need the full circle. Once you're done, you break this guy and press the button. And there you go. But how do we build with this? Well, we can start by actually making all of the armor stands we spawn invisible like this. And let's also make them invincible like that so they can't be broken by players. And now when we make it, we should just have a bunch of floating blocks like this. Awesome. 
All right, and so if we get some sand here, we should be able to actually build up and drop it in place on top of those like that, although it doesn't line up perfectly. Hmm. Oh no, it kind of works there. Let's take away the gravity and move them down about, let's go 4.4, should be right. And it should be just barely above, ah, uh, it still turns black, dang it. So the issue we're having is that it's turning black because the armor stand is inside of the sand block, which makes me think if this was just floating here, that we wouldn't have that issue. So if I get some sandstone stairs, smooth sandstone stairs like that, will this work? Oops. If you don't break the old armor stance before running the thing again, it breaks. So just break that one first. And now, dang, that still counts. But what if we used glass? Would that count? If anything, glass wouldn't count. So if glass counts, okay, yeah, we have a bigger issue on our hands. All right, according to online, if you add marker set to one, then, dang it, then, it works, okay. This is how we're gonna get it to work. But I don't think we're gonna be able to fill this gap with blocks. Uh, maybe, maybe like this one. Nope, okay. So I think we're just gonna need to have two rows of armor stands. Okay, I added a command block for another row and let's hope it works first. It works first try, okay. I think this is actually gonna be possible. Look at that, that's cool. Now let's just make a little outline. All right, we have the space. And if we flick this, we should have Okay, there's a little bit of issue here. I'm not sure why the black things are there, but I think it's working. Maybe if I turn it, it'll fix? No, okay, breaking the block fixes it. I'm not sure what the issue is. Does it still have to be glass? It actually seems to fix it. Okay, wow, all right. This is really weird to look at in game. Like this is actually, this actually exists and that's strange. Although I guess now that we have the uh, the marker thing set, we can make these flat with the ground. All right, so time for the actual test. Okay, it's flat. I mean, there's like the, the smallest amount sticking up, but whatever. And then we stop it right there. Hop up here. We press the button and we have our full working circle in Minecraft. You know, let's actually make this like a little pool. Let's fill this up and then get some water and let's put it all in here. Okay, so the water's full, but we have more blocks that need to be glass. Nah, we're gonna use smooth sandstone slabs like this. Is it this one? Oh, that doesn't count. Hmm, maybe that's not even, maybe I'll just do this. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. And I can even change the glass back to sand. The only problem is we have this weird little lip underneath, but I guess I can just add another row of blocks underneath. So in order to add another row of armor stands on the bottom, we're gonna need to make it have a lot less armor stands. So this time you can see it goes faster. Uh, it turns about five degrees instead of three each time. And so when we press this, it turns and it still looks the same. So that's a lot less armor stands. So let's change this from minus 6.5 to seven. And when we run this, hopefully that looks like barely not enough height. Let's just press this again. Or, oh, no, okay, I see an issue. These are the slabs, meaning something got messed up here. <laughs> Attempt two, uh, closer. I'm not really sure what, what's wrong. It's just like just skipping the main one. That's weird. Although this does, this does look pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Got to change the distances, okay. So now, I also forgot to break the armor stand. So now let's fix this and it should do exactly what we want this time. And we'll stop that, go up here and turn it. And now we have a full step one right here. And I guess if you want it to look like those stairs, you can just make this command block empty and then that'll make the stairs like that. These are pretty cool actually. <laughs> you would just have to make these stairs like this and there'd be a little gap, but you could debug stick and make it diagonal. So final test, flick the lever. Generate the three different rows of armor stands. Stop the lever, break the target, and then stand in the center, press the button, and then we fill it up with water. And we now have our very own circular swimming pool in Minecraft. Let's get all this out of the way. This is vanilla Minecraft at its maximum. Look how cool this is with shaders. <laughs> I think you should check out the time. I made a glitched Minecraft horse that ran 60,000 blocks per hour in vanilla survival. Well, I was in creative, but you can do it in survival.